Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Pop Pop. I'm Daniel. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm. But one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Good morning, ladies. Welcome back everyone, it's so nice to see you. Currently we're working on getting chores taken care of. We got the farm market all set up. Matthew went to the auction today and I've been grading chicken eggs. Lots and lots of chicken eggs. But, like, lots and lots of chicken eggs. But anyway, as always, we've got a lot of stuff that we'd like to get accomplished today and we're gonna hope that we can get to it. Okay. Why couldn't you carry the basket? <laughs> she can't, she's too small. You stay out here, okay? I would like to bring Callie in here and have her collect eggs with me, but these chickens like to peck your legs, and I think for a little girl, that'd be a little scary. I just, I don't want her to have a bad experience with chickens and then not want to collect eggs later on, so. She's standing outside looking in for now. Just got the last of the eggs collected. We got two full beautiful baskets. We just got finished off with morning chores. Cattle have all been taken care of. Calves have been taken care of and the chickens are now finished. Now our next job that we are undertaking is getting some sweet corn planted. Now for the most part, when we're planting sweet corn, we're just doing a yellow and white variety. Nothing crazy, bread and butter, sugar and I don't know, whatever they call it. Um, but basically a yellow and white sweet corn. Uh, today we are gonna be planting some just plain yellow sweet corn and just plain white sweet corn. Now in the grand scheme of things, we don't plant much of those two uh, secular varieties. Um, but there are a small number of people that really, really want just yellow sweet corn or just white sweet corn. And to be 100% honest with you, keeping track of it all and making sure that we get enough planted can be a pain. However, it makes some of our customers very, very happy, so we try and do it. The first variety we're putting in is gonna be just a plain yellow variety, and then after that, we're moving on to a white variety. Now, it's not a lot of acreage, we're doing a small amount when you think about the grand scheme of things, especially when it comes to sweet corn. But it'll be just enough for those customers that really want it. So we're gonna be doing the yellow sweet corn, then we're gonna be moving on to just the plain white sweet corn, and then I think we're gonna finish off with doing a few acres of yellow and white. So there's the yellow corn that we had just planted. And here we have two varieties of yellow and white. And Daniel has got the white corn right here. Now the thing to remember is the yellow corn and white corn, we're only doing one variety of those. But with the yellow and white, we're doing two different varieties to try and extend our harvest. See, we plant sweet corn every two weeks because it only lasts for a short period of time. Or I should say it tastes best and the harvest is best for only a short period of time. And if we're selling as much sweet corn as we are, well, we definitely need to do multiple plantings. And something that helps us to extend a planting until our next planting is ready to pick is having multiple varieties. The two varieties of sweet corn that we're using are different day varieties. That essentially means days to maturity. And by planting two different varieties, it's gonna make sure that all the sweet corn just doesn't ripen up at once. One variety is gonna ripen sooner, one variety is gonna ripen later and it's gonna allow us to pick through the entire planting evenly. When it comes to doing certain crops, some people don't think about things like that, 
but we really have to be careful and think about it because if we don't, well, it would definitely bite us in the butt later on. We're just checking to make sure our depth is okay and that everything's planting right. We've now got our 12 rows of white corn down and we're gonna be moving on to yellow and white. The two varieties that we're gonna be doing are very popular, but the most popular variety we raise is Montauk. Let me just say Montauk puts on a fat, delicious ear and I know we enjoy it and our customers definitely enjoy it. So a lot of people are gonna be curious with the varieties that we're planting with the white corn. We're basically doing a new improved version of Silver King. And then with our yellow and white varieties, we're gonna be doing Montauk and Allure. So two wonderful varieties that we've planted for a really long time. And the nice thing is they're different day varieties. So we're gonna be picking sweet corn for a long time. Got it. Turn this fertilizer on, there we go. We got our first variety of sweet corn into the ground. It is called a war. That is the earlier day variety or the one that will be ready to harvest sooner rather than later. Now we're gonna be loading in the Montauk. What? I wasn't leaving it. Here we gotta plant pumpkins. Oh, that's right. Plant pumpkins? Yeah. There you go. Now you remember. Might, we might plant peppers this afternoon because you're here. So we ended up finishing planting sweet corn for the day. Daniel had the camera. I had came home with dad and I started watering greenhouses. I got four, five, and six all watered. Now granted, there's not a lot of stuff in these greenhouses, but I was still able to get them watered and hopefully if all things go well, we'll be able to plant some peppers today. Not only did we get the greenhouses watered, but we got our 110 moved down around back with our wagon and our water tank. We're gonna get that water tank filled up so that we can be as efficient as possible while planting. And then lastly, while I was down here, we're working on cleaning out this greenhouse, getting all the plants moved out of here. We have some peppers in here, so those will be going shortly. But we also had some hibiscus up here in the front corner that I was moving onto the wagon. Once we have the peppers and hibiscus moved out of here, this greenhouse will be ready to be all cleaned up. And then we can turn this into something that we can use for storing animals or storing equipment. Lots of progress being made around here. That's what we like to see. I got this front corner, all the hibiscus that had looked really good. I got them loaded onto the wagon. Now all we need to do is take this up top so they can be sold. The only problem is we got a big wagon and a tractor in the way, so we'll just worry about that later. It is lunchtime, so we are gonna head up and get something to eat, and then hopefully we'll be planting this afternoon. I'm up here for lunch, and it looks like we are having ham and cheese sandwiches. But something else that happened, Matthew came back from the wholesaler, picked up quite a few strawberries that we'll be selling. He also picked up some spring onions and red beets. I think he also grabbed some zucchini was out there, so that's pretty good. I mean, a lot of the customers are gonna be happy. We got some local produce now. Yes, I see rocks. Callie, can I get a woohoo? Oh yeah. I just took Callie home for her nap and while I was gone, the boys got the planter all ready to go. We've got two wheels on there and we're getting it filled up with some water. Now we need to just run down around back, make sure our tank is still being filled up and load up any plants that we want to get planted today. Now you might be wondering what varieties we've got on the wagon at this time. We have some poblanos, 
we have hot cherry and they're loading up the long hot peppers as we speak. And it's probably obvious that we're trying to get the hot peppers planted. We can get the hot peppers done. Ooh, that'll be exciting. Peppers are a little tall here. I think we would have liked to get these peppers planted a little early on, but we weren't able to. Look how long this plant is. That is pretty long, but that's gonna be okay. They're gonna have really good starts when we get them transplanted. While we wait for our big water tank to fill up, we're just gonna have our two tanks here completely full on our planter. And then once we have the machine all filled up with water and we have enough plants on it, we're gonna go back and plant a little bit while the big, big tank continues to fill. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna get sitting in my seat and ready to go. It's gonna be hot. Oh yeah. And here we go. My seat is very hot. Wow. Okay, hey, we're ready. What are we starting off with today? Popolano peppers. Now many of you who have been watching for a while now have seen us use this machine. But for those that haven't seen us use it before, it's called a water wheel transplanter. And it's a unique piece of equipment for a few reasons. But probably one of the biggest reasons is that it allows us to water as we're planting. So there's two large tanks on this planter that are full of water and they're feeding two wheels that we have spinning on the machine. Now these wheels have spikes on them and they're poking holes into this biodegradable mulch that we have laid down and it's injecting water into the holes. We then, while sitting on the back, transplant each plant into one of the holes. Now the water being added into the hole makes kind of like a slurry are just very like soupy mud mixture and that allows us to easily push the plant down into the soil and basically the soil just kind of like swallows the root ball of the plant and that gives each plant a good opportunity to be firmly rooted it makes it much easier on the plant that's being transplanted and it fights against something called transplant shock which if you're working in your garden you may have never heard of but for us vegetable farmers it can be a big problem. So by using this machine and by using this planting method, it gives us a really good start for whatever we are transplanting. And today it's gonna be our main uh, tool that we're gonna be using not only for peppers, but for anything that we're planting on biodegradable mulch. Everything that we plant on the biodegradable mulch, we plant using this piece of equipment. Very helpful, very handy. And if you've been on the channel for a while, you've seen it. And if it's your first time here, you're going to see it a lot more. I can guarantee that. Look how tall some of these plants are. Ay, ay, ay. My word. Those are some tall plants. And I am now putting in the last of the poblanos. Now we're on to jalapeno. You can see in each one of these holes, there's definitely a lot of moisture. Sometimes, depending on the soil, the moisture will stay in there longer than others. But the most important thing is just that we get our root ball pushed down deep enough so that it's covered by some form of soil. We don't want it just sitting on top or even just floating in the water because that will not help our plant in the long run. That will ultimately lead to our plant either dying or just developing slowly. And both of those things will not help us at all at this stage. We made a lot of good progress. We got all of the poblanos planted and a little over half of the jalapenos. The only thing I will say is we ran out of water. So next time we're gonna try and go a little bit faster to try and make it to the end of the row. And uh, we're gonna probably need more plants on here. We thought these rows were gonna be about the same length as the rows that we had transplanted before. But I think these are a little longer. As we get further down the field, they'll shorten up. But for now, we're gonna definitely need to move a little faster. We just made it back to the farm. Daniel and dad are working on loading up the planter with more plants and adding some water to the tanks. Dad mentioned someone needed to water the germination greenhouse. So I came up to do that. It's obvious to me that some things definitely need to be watered. 
and when I check the temperature, it's obvious that it's, well, it's hot in here. So yeah, we're gonna get the watering, get this taken care of, and then we're gonna get it right back on the planter and back to transplanting. I'll show you guys something that I always find really cool. Uh, we're working on putting some hot peppers into the soil today. That's a pretty big deal for us. Well, guess what? We have hot peppers right here. We also have sweet peppers that are just getting started. Here we have some bell peppers that will eventually be planted out into the field. And when you're looking at them right now, it's obvious to see that they are doing great. But this is our second massive planting of peppers that we're gonna do. We always do two massive plantings of peppers and tomatoes. And we have to follow a pretty tight schedule to make sure that these tomatoes are gonna be ready by the time our older tomatoes are starting to slow down and our older peppers are starting to slow down. It's not really the same for the peppers. We like to do two plantings of peppers for multiple reasons. One, we sell a lot of peppers, but two, we also like to let the first planting of peppers mature a little bit more so that we can get some beautiful color on those peppers. There's a lot of thinking and planning that goes into all this work we do. And as you can see behind me is a product of that. Oh, it is hot in there. It's wild how just stepping out from the greenhouse feels like a completely different place. It feels warm out today, but inside that greenhouse, oh my goodness, it's scorching. Fix my seat, bounced over. I gotta make sure my seat's in a good spot. That looks about good. Oh, okay. It's all hot cherry. I was getting oh, confused. Right. Daniel, that's spite. The hot peppers are getting to me. Uh, that's just the regular heat. That's just the regular heat's getting to me? Okay. I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Andrew, just calm down and get your peppers. I'm going to do that, Daniel, and I think it's going to help me. I think it's really going to help me to relax. Andrew, when you're out in the field, you just got to relax. Look at that. I'm going to try what Daniel does. I'm just going to relax. All right, I'm itchy. You're itchy? Itch yourself with the peppers, Daniel. Good idea. We just went through another planter full of water and plants. We've got to run back to the farm and I think we're going to do one more fill up and that's going to be it. The plants have been looking really, really good. They are a little on the tall side and I was concerned about that at first, but now I'm not really concerned with it. They look so good there's in the rows. They look so good there's in the rows? What? They look so good there in the rows. There we go. I just had to slow down and I can get the words out. Wait until you guys see the new air conditioner dad put inside the tractor. It's pretty fancy. It only works though when you have both windows opening and you're going forward, but he says it works pretty good. Alrighty, last load of plants for the day. Let's get it done. Looks pretty beautiful out there. I will say one of the only things that can be a bummer about this is on very hot days, it's easy to get sunburned. And you're moving really, really slow, so there's not much of a breeze. But today is not too bad. The weather is pretty nice for planting. You gotta know when to plant them. You know when to pick them. You know when to eat them. You know when to plant again. You never eat your peppers when you're sitting in the field. You only eat your peppers when you're at the farm market. You like my song? Yeah. It's pretty good, right? Sounds a lot like it. <laughs> Sounds a lot like a song you heard before? No, first you gotta know when to plant them. I should have said you gotta know when to water them. Then you gotta know when to pick them. Then you gotta know when to eat them. When you're sitting in the field. When you're sitting in the field. There'll be time enough for picking when the growing's done. Oh! Talk about a good day of planting. We just finished off everything that we had. And this is all hot peppers 
that is right next to me here. Now the rows over here, they're gonna be used for all different types of things, mostly sweet peppers, and then we might add some eggplant over here as well. But the fact that we were able to get all the hot peppers planted today, that makes us very, very happy. One less thing we've gotta worry about, and one less thing we gotta water in the greenhouses at home. It is really nice to see the strips of green going down through the field. And we've got some rain coming up, so these plants are really gonna benefit from that. As long as it continues to rain, we won't have to stress about hooking up the drip irrigation, but I think we're gonna wanna get that done sooner rather than later. I am now home and mama has made dinner for us. We're having some chicken tortellini. What is this chicken tortellini, Alfredo? Broccoli chicken tortellini, Alfredo. Ooh! Ooh, it looks really good there, hot and steamy. And then I've got Ronnie, he's laying right next to me. And then I'm holding Miss Lily cause she was a little bit fussy. We've got somewhere to be tonight. So we need to get started on eating our dinner and then getting these babies all cleaned up. It was a wonderful day. We got a lot accomplished and everybody is growing really, really well. Hey, thank you everybody who's been helping us out. We've gained a lot of subscribers recently. We appreciate it. Thank you everybody for joining. It really means a lot to us on our journey of 200K. By the time this video comes out, I don't think we'll be there just yet, but we do appreciate everybody that's been helping us with the journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye Bye-bye. Can you say bye bye <laughs>